Dozens of shots fired at a Kunia apartment complex while a family was at home. Honolulu police have opened an attempted murder investigation. This was yesterday afternoon at the Parkview Village condominium. Police arrested 52-year-old Scott Vidinha for attempted murder and reckless endangering. He has yet to be charged. We spoke to the victims and they tell KHON Vidinha is their neighbor. Sarah Madison has more on the family's account. Sarah? Kathy, the mother tells me this started when the suspect made comments to her two teenage boys. Then she and her neighbors heard a gunshot. The mother, Dawn Aglipe, says she called police three times. Aglipe says officers showed up each time to investigate, but nothing happened. Events changed for the worst when Aglipe says her son saw the suspect loading his gun and coming towards their home. That's when I ran into the house and um, shut the door and gunshots just started flaring after that. Agley Pay says the suspect had a rifle and dozens of shots were fired. I was really scared that he was going to come into our home because um, our neighbors said that he shot from the, from the sidewalk and he walked upstairs and he did come and he shot from on the top right and outside of our door. Neighbors tell the family they saw the suspect move to the back of the home and started shooting at the back porch, shattering the glass door. Inside and out, the Agley Pays home is covered with bullet holes. Pictures of the aftermath show home decorations shattered. If you saw yesterday how it looked, you would never think there was any survivors. Our, our neighbors was telling us that he thought there's no way anybody could survive that. The family is grateful no one got hurt. During the shooting, Aglipe, her husband, and two sons hid in the bathroom. They had a 911 operator on the line. I just kept yelling, tell them to come inside and get us, because I wasn't sure if he's in the house. Aglipe says police arrived moments later. It seemed like it was forever. Four minutes was a long time. It seemed like 40 minutes. I was in shock. I just couldn't believe. If you saw our house last night, it was totaled. Agley Pay says she called police on the suspect before the shooting occurred and believes this could have been prevented. It had to take something like this for them to finally take him away, unfortunately. We called police to get more answers, but an officer on duty says this is an ongoing investigation. We will keep you updated with more information. Sarah Madison, KHON 2 News.